viewers I welcome you to Carrie's tutorials today my name is Simeon Grace today we're going to do the finished part of our dress we're going to do the sewing of the six pieces gown with cape I know you are eager to watch the finished part so am I now let's get to that first we're going to join the six pieces together the front part which is three pieces we're going to join together and the back also which is three pieces we're going to join together so let's do that now So we have all six ready. We have the three for the front and also the three for the back. The nice thing now is placing the half length for the front and also the half length for the back. We're going to join them together. The nice thing now in joining the half length, let's start with the front. Bringing out our dart for the front parts, we're going to maintain the same dart we have on the six pieces. So fold it into two. I have 3.5 inches. So, folded into two, 3.5, then I'm going to add my sewing allowance. So, I'll make it four. So, I'm going to measure four inches throughout. And from the arm O, since it's minus five, I'm just going to bring out two inches for the princess that so we can cut for the back two I'm also going to do the same thing So first thing, let's join our princess that before attaching the half length to the six pieces.
we have the front and the back ready. The next thing for us now is to shaping out the dress. We have 23 inches from down to the knee length. With our sewing allowance, we're going to make it 24. We have the band 26, 26 plus 6. That's 32 divided by 4 will give us 8 inches. We have 8. Then we have the waist to be 28. 28 plus 6, that's 34. Divided by 4 will give us 8.5. We have 8.5. The hip is 34. 34 plus 6 divided by 4 will give us 10. We have 10. So I'm going to subtract 1 inch at the knee length. So we have 9. And now we can bring out the shape of the dress. So whatever we have here, we're going to use to shaping out the other one. Okay, now that we have done that, 
The next thing now is to bring out the real measurements. Placing the front and the back together. It's minus 5, remember? So we have 8.5. Then we have the bust. The bust is 32 divided by 2 now is 16. So let's see what we have in total. We have 18, that's 2 inches excess. We're going to share 1, one inch on each side. It's minus 5. Then we have the under boss to be 12. The band is 26 divided by 2 is 13. In total, we have 15. So we're going to share one inch on each side. The waist is 28 divided by 2 is 14. We have 16 in total. We're going to share one inch on each side. The hip is 34, divided by 2 is 17. We have 19 in total. We're going to share one inch on each side. For the knee length, we're going to subtract 1. Since we have 17 measured out here, so we're going to measure out 16. In total, we have 18. We are going to share one inch on each side. Now we can join our fabric. We are almost getting to the end part of our gown. Action. The next thing now is to fix the cape. In doing that, we are going to notch the middle part of our dress. Like I said, the cape is 36, but we had it to it because it's going to be a gathered cape. 
So we're going to bring out the gather. We'll gather the, the cape, then we'll notch the middle part and bring the notched part together with the middle of the cape. So we're going to measure it out. It is 36. First, let's bring out the gathers. We need 36 inches. Now we have the 36, the nice thing to do now is to join together. We have our gathered material, we have to notch the middle and also the middle of our dress. We have the middle. Now we have to bring the gathered material together with our dress. But before doing that, let's fold in the arm O. We are almost getting to the end of our sewing. Let's see what we have. Oh. 
Oh, those spots. We are almost getting to the hand part of it. Okay, so we can top stitch now. We are going to top stitch on the main fabric. Now, let's take a straight sewing round the cape. We're going to run it round the cape, then we will fold in the down part of our gown, that, that which will bring us to the end of our sewing. So let's do that now. Next thing is to fold the down part of our gown. But before then, let's trim out any excess. Take accurate measurements before folding. Don't forget to weave all necessary parts. Remember you have to weave all necessary parts of your fabric, iron accurately. Now we are to fold the down part of our fabric, which will bring us to the end of our gown.
part of the cape is going to be weaved with fishing line. I'll do that now and we'll see the finished part of our dress. That brings us to the end of our sewing today. Wow. Is there any wedding on Saturday? Uh, I feel like rocking that event with my girl. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, thanks for watching Carrie's tutorials. My name remains Simeon Grace. Till I see you next class, rock that event.